Day 11! Hi! Okay, so I'm going to have a little coffee talk with you about my Day 11 experience, Day 10 experience, and how my Whole30 stuff is going. So right now, it's, it's pretty rough. Um, my hair is doing some really funky things that it's never done before, so... So day 10, I'm, you know, here I am in the morning, like huge, as per usual, having my cup of coffee. And, um, yeah, um, and how I feel overall for the fact that I'm at day 11, this is supposed to be the hardest day and now I know why. Uh, when I got a little intimidated when they said that today was going to be the hardest day. So my, I know it's just the beginning of the day, but my initial feeling was that I was going to be hit with a bunch of cravings, that I was going to be miserable, that I was like, you know, that I wasn't going to be, that I wasn't going to be feeling all that great or, um, or even fluish or something like that. But I think that day has already passed. I thought that I, for me, I'm pretty sure that day, if you go back into my channel, um, that day was like day nine where I had this big wave of just a second. My cat's like chewing on stuff. He's not supposed to. Don't chew on that. He's trying to chew on my, on my pen. Yeah. Just what you need is ink all over my bed. Um, so, um, yeah, I got that. Um, so feel, feeling like that, that day eight, I got this big wave of, of just not feeling good. Like it was like, I was semi nauseous. I had a headache. My body ached. Oh my God, my hip hurt really, really bad. I don't know if that was because I was on a real bad work stretch and we have this platform we have to stand on. It doesn't do wonders for my hips. Um, so my hip hurts. I was really, I was so laggy. It felt like I had this, like this wave of, of like, of just utter exhaustion. Um, so yeah, so that's what that was about. And I'm like, what's going on here? What is with this? Like, let's just put this over here. I just made my bed and now I'm just unmaking my bed. Alright, yeah, so, um, so that, that was that, um, and so when I say that I understand now what the hardest day is about, and the hardest day is about because inside my head, it's saying, okay, you made it to day 11, it's over, right? And maybe it's because I built myself up for that, but I feel like, um, I feel like it's just like, oh, you know, it's done. It's over with. Um, I don't need to do any more. And inside my, my head's just like, oh, you've come so far. Good for you. Now let's end it. And I can't end it, you know, because the whole 30 is to do the whole 30. So here I am uh, talking to my, talking to my phone, talking to nobody, talking to you. Um, like, you know, and I, I don't know. So I've, I'm getting that feeling inside my head, like, what's the point? Why, why finish it? And all this kind of, all this kind of stuff. So, you know, that's, that's how I feel like the whole 30, like I feel inside, I want to give up inside. I want to give up and I want to stop and I, I can stop it and I can end it easily all I have to do is go find something with sugar and eat it like or all I have to do is make a sandwich and it's over <laughs> but let's not let's not do that um especially because you know oh my god it's my hair god. yeah that's right whole vlogging experience you get to see me figure this stuff out yeah there you go um yeah Big old messy bun. See what I mean? My hair is like, oh, it's awful. It's awful. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to straighten it or something. And I don't like straightening it too often. I, like, I like doing that at a special occasion. <laughs> Just because, like, you know, because I don't like heat treating my hair a lot. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
But yeah, so like my hair texture has changed, which is strange. And it's supposed to go back to normal, apparently. I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you when, when that happens. Mm. Anyway, I've adjusted to, um, to having almond milk in my coffee. I've read up on and researched stuff about um, Whole30 coffees. And um, a lot of people are saying the coconut... Um, like your coconut, um, not extract, uh, coconut milk is, is definitely a way to go. And it's definitely like, you know, really something to do with like, you know, it really tastes good. So I'm going to give that a shot, but I still have a whole bunch of almonds milk to drink up. So I'm not going to go buy it until I finish like it, that's one of my New Year's resolutions. I know that, like, you know, New Year's resolutions, I'm that girl where I make them and I stick to them. I try. I try very hard. But one of my big ones is I I had a habit of buying things and then I didn't use them up. So I want to use that up, right? So I had to figure that out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, a whole 30 experience how I'm feeling. Uh, I did a bunch of meal prep and... I'm still doing that kind of thing. I'm running out of, like, I feel like I'm running out of steam on something. So, um, meaning, like, my creativity, like, I'm keeping as basic as possible because, like, you know, I'm not rich. I don't have a lot of money. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll out that on the, on the whole interval. But I don't have a lot of money yet. One day, you know, one day, because I'm, I'm planning on hustling. I'm planning, I have some new business ventures that I want to get into, but that's a whole, that's a whole another piece of cake later on in, in life. But, um, yeah, so I, I want to keep it as, as simple as possible. I feel like I'm rambling a lot. So, uh, as far as my tips and success, um, all that kind of stuff, I've already given out a whole bunch of tips on day 10 on how to get through the first 10. And so, um, here I am day 11 and I find myself very fidgety. I'm going to end up me personally. I'm going to go take myself outside. I have some things I want to do around the house that I'm going to do. So I'm going to go, I'm going to take a nice long walk, um, which active is, is like a good thing. It's really good to, um, to do that and keep active. Um, so I'm going to, um, keep active today. I'm going to keep drinking my water. It's a nice big water bottle. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, it's like a, a liter and a half. So it makes it keeping my goals, my micro goals. Like I said, keep micro goals. Um, so, um, it keep that's my first micro goal my second micro goal I can't wait to reveal which will be tomorrow I'm going to reveal it and am I looking forward to it no but I'm going to I'm sure later on I'm going to be so happy that I did it um so yeah that's that I also have a whole bunch of other other things that I'm, I'm planning on doing um yeah because like the beginning part yeah I was a little I'm like you know, on, on a slope of things, I'm really, really slow on it, you know, coming, coming up, but like, you know, make tiny little changes. And then, then like, you know, before I know it, I'm going to have a big result. That's my, my, my mentality, make tiny changes, big results. And it's not just a matter of, um, like, you know, me losing weight or anything like that. Keep in mind that I did all this. I did it for me. And I did it for my health. I did it for my lifestyle. I just want to live the best possible life I can in 2018. That's my that's my goal. My goal is to live the best possible life I can in 2018. I feel like I completely lacked in things. Like I said, I have business ventures I'm going to be going into. I have a career change I'm going to be getting into. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to jump right into. Because, like, you know, last year I, I kind of... I'll admit it, I had a little breakdown and I just had that moment in time where I got to sit and reflect and go, holy crap, who am I? What am I going to do? What What's my life about right now? Where am I right now? Where do I want to be? So because of all those big questions, this is, this is the year to turn it around. So 
I want to do a bunch of this stuff, not just for me, just for that. And the, the whole vlogging thing, well, that's just my, that's just part of my journey. And you're just a part of that. So, good stuff. Um, so, I'm going to keep myself busy today. I'm going to go out shopping. I'm going to go, I'm doing a big, humongous clean of my house, my bedroom, everything. I'm preparing everything for my next goal, which I will tell you all about tomorrow. And yeah, so here I am doing that. Uh, I feel like I really totally want to give up. I do. And that's why I guess this is the hardest day. I'm going to guess that honestly that day nine was my hardest day because I just felt that was when I felt the wave of withdrawal. That's when I felt that. Now, as far as me personally, let's get right into that, right into this, end it all up on a happy note. My hunger has gone down. So at the first set, things to expect in the first uh, 10 days is like, I was super hungry, I was super hungry all the time. And I just like, and you know what? I, I, I did exactly like, you know, you're not supposed to be hungry during this. So I ate a lot. But the thing is, I was eating good food. I was eating good whole food. It wasn't eating junk or empty calories. So when I mean I ate a lot, like a lot of vegetables was being eaten. So really, do you feel really bad about a whole bunch of vegetables being eaten? No, not really. Like, uh, you have to really watch, though, in this diet that you don't eat too much meat and just kind of fill with meat and then just have that like vegetable portion really small. So me, I was like, you know, I was focusing a lot on my vegetables. Again, I go back to my, my glorious smoothies and how much I love my smoothies and all that. So, um, and so I got to go do that and figure that out. Um, so I ate all that, it all worked out and I now wake up in the morning. I'm not hungry or like, you know, so I'm like, eh. so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. So do I eat when I'm hungry or do I like, you know, do I have something small? What do I do? So I'm going to figure, I figure that, uh, I'm going to eat something small. So before I was having a very big kind of like style breakfast, like, you know, that you would see on a Sunday, but with just like a gigantic amount of vegetables and all that kind of stuff like I had it in the morning and now I'm just gonna have something like little so like an egg with um, a side of vegetables and then call that breakfast um, or maybe just a smoothie and call that breakfast I don't know uh, today I'm just gonna do a smoothie and just call it breakfast so that has evened out thank goodness like you know so I don't feel like a ravenous monster like I'm just eating and um, I was watching somebody's video, I was watching somebody's, uh, somebody's research and, and such on it uh, when I was researching and they were like, oh, I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm starving. Well, I don't think you're supposed to be star starving. You're, you're doing an elimination diet. So you're not doing this to cut calories or lose weight. You're doing this to pull all of those bad influences, those things that you're putting into your body to kill your body. You're taking it out. So you shouldn't be hungry. You shouldn't be. Um, you should be eating a bunch of vegetables. If you're hungry, eat some vegetables. Eat some eat eat some vegetables and stuff. And like you know, but like I said in past videos, I felt hungry, but I I was full. My body was full. Like I was full. I felt physically full, but yet in my head is screaming, "You want food." You want more. And that was to be expected. And it's kind of crazy how those things, those certain foods that you eat, do that to you. They make you feel like you need more. You need more. And you aren't satisfied until that's there. I recall at one point in my life that after dinner, um, I would eat and I would feel full. And then I'd be like, oh, you want dessert. Like, that was in your head. Was like, oh, you know, like, have a cookie. Like, you know, hmm have something sweet and then having that something sweet was only when, then that I felt satisfied. Now I can say that I can eat dinner and I can eat dinner and I feel satisfied with whatever I ate on my plate. So as far as I'm concerned right there, that right there is results for me. That is, that is fantastic. That's where I'm going for. So we'll see what happens there. And like, you know, 
soon you'll be a part of whatever whatever this turns into on um, that kind of stuff am i going to video log every day probably not um because it's supposed to get easier but who knows maybe i will video log every day maybe i'll do it every other day i'm not sure but we'll see um so here's another lovely long video a lovely coffee talk with you guys with my horrible hair look at this thing like what is this is it curly just so you know, I know I have a whole bunch of pictures of me with curly hair, but my hair is actually not curly. It's straight. It's straight. And I sleep with it with a bun and it's curly, but I don't know. That is definitely a curl going on here. What? What? Anyway, yeah, so even my skin's really blotchy and I usually have some great skin going on. I don't usually wear concealer or anything. I just, oh, I look so gross. So gross. I look like that unbathed person. Like, that's what I feel like, and that's why I look, I don't know. So, your body's supposed to do that. Your body's supposed to take out all those impurities, and you're supposed to look like crap at, <laughs> at uh, 10 and 11. So, here's something to look forward to, people who are doing Whole30, if you're considering Whole30. Again, if you have any co questions, comments, concerns, or um, or you want some advice, or you just need somebody to talk to, because like you know, having support during Whole Thirty, that's totally totally something. It's it's something. Here I am for you. Just give me a like or and a comment, or you know, reach out to me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I hope to see you guys soon, and have a good have a good day uh in this case have a good weekend but you might not be weekend when you're watching this who knows it's the youtube sphere the youtube universe if you will so yeah have a good one